Stembite. For this stembite, it's time to do some laundry. That doesn't go in there. We got this newfangled high efficiency washing machine not that long ago, and it's really cool. For one thing, it has lots of lights and sounds and buttons. I mean, just, that's awesome. But the main reason it's cool is it only uses exactly the amount of water it needs to clean the clothes inside the washing machine. The question is, how can it possibly know how much water it needs to wash what's inside the tub? Well, you'll notice the first step in the washing cycle is load sensing. If you were designing a washing machine, how would you measure what's inside there so that you know how much water to add? Hmm, let me think about that. One of the first things you might do is just weigh how much stuff is inside the machine. But I don't think that'll work. I mean, what if you just put in one or two things that are really heavy, like just two or three wet towels? Those towels would weigh a lot, but they wouldn't need much water to cover them up. Let's watch what the washing machine does and see if we can make sense out of how it's doing the load sensing. All right, the light is flashing, so it must be doing the sensing right now. And you'll see it's just kind of like shimmy shaking the load. Oh, shimmy shake. Now it starts to spin it up a little bit. It's not washing anything, it's just kind of feeling it out. Now I don't know for sure, but I think what the washing machine is trying to do is get a sense of what kind of rotational inertia this load of laundry has. If it just weighed how heavy it was, it'd be measuring its inertia. But by rotating it, you can get a sense of not only how much is there, but how it's distributed throughout the drum. It's all done now, and now it's starting to wash. All it did was spin it around for a little while. Can you imagine that the washing machine is actually using rotational physics to measure how much clothes I have in the machine? It's amazing. I love watching washing machines. Stand by.